hard to disengage. Be very careful. Walk around. Um, there will be handrails, brackets. So there, there's. This is the one aspect. It's important not to have part of material catch in there. Yes. What is going to be here? Part of, of the outfit and is going to be delivered separately in the vehicle. I'm interested in seeing this module arrive for another reason, too, because it's going to have two windows that will give us a unique perspective uh, looking above, uh, from above the station, the top of the station, looking over the station, uh, all the, the American Press uh, assembly and the solar arrays and then seeing the earth below. So it's going to be a very unique uh, view. Uh, well, space vehicles are very unique. Uh, and what always impresses me about uh, seeing uh, spacecraft like this or Soyuz earlier, uh, whether it's here in Russia or in Kazakhstan or in the United States at the Cape, is uh, the dedication of all the people that it takes uh, to put them together and to, uh, to assemble them and, and ensure that they operate uh, as designed when they get to orbit and that we can operate them safely. Uh, people are in the business no matter what country and the partnership they're from because they believe in human space exploration and they, they put their hearts in it. They're manufacturing the rockets. One of those um, is the one you're going to fly on. Could you move further away? Could you move a little bit? But we'll see you later. Um, the prime crew members are uh, we're usually conducting meetings in this room. Right now, I'd like to invite you to the other room. Here is the launch bed at the left flank and the right flank. On the left, we have the launch bed itself.
пробьет вспышка солнца. Да здесь рядом. Есть установить ракету космического назначения в стартовой системе. Installation of the space rocket into the launch system. Talk a little bit about how different the training is versus doing this versus doing a shuttle mission, because you're a veteran uh, shuttle commander and pilot, so how, how much how much different is the training for Soyuz versus shuttle? Uh, I would say the, the, the types of training you do is very similar. You know, you learn about ascent and entry and, and, uh, and emergency procedures and, and orbit operations and rendezvous. All of that is similar, you know, uh, is similar in terms of, you know, the physics is the same, the orbital mechanics are the same. What's different, particularly challenging for uh, U.S. astronauts, is all of their training is in Russian. And uh, as a left-seater, you have to be pretty fluent in Russian. And the other challenge is they spend probably 40% 40, 40 of their time here in Russia training. And that's the part of it that makes it, I think, more difficult in the shuttle flow. So the average length of training is about two and a half years. Um, but with 40% of that here and now with the, the international partners training in Japan and Europe and Canada, it's a lot of time away from home. So that's what makes it more challenging. As you're looking ahead toward next year and the, the station program, what do you think is probably the main challenge that you guys are going to be tackling over the next year? I, uh, I would tell you that um, we've got a couple of um, assembly flights coming, uh, or, or at least one more main assembly flight.